I love New York. I love New York. I love New York. Oh, I love New York. What do you think of this rest area? I've never been to it before, but it's very nice. Yeah. And New York should put more of these. Yeah. Yeah, they should, there should be something like this every time you come into the state. If you're coming up into New York State on Route 81 uh, from the south, going north, this is definitely a stop you want to make on your way in, especially if you got pets, because they've got a, a pet area that you're off the leash pet area, dog park that you can go into. And they've got a NASCAR uh, thing for Watkins Glen. Inside they've got a little store with a lot of New York things. So a very interesting stop. Now I'm definitely someplace to check out. Play area for your kids. Um, it's a neat place. into Cooperstown, New York, home of the Baseball Hall of Fame. It and looks like they have a lot of museums here. Yeah, here's a, a farmer's museum mm -hmm. with a carousel. And they have quite a few golf courses and they have um, uh, tiny cottages or motels along the main route. Yeah, it's right down the lake here. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, interesting little places to stay, old hotel, old hotels, motels, cottages. And it look, I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Plenty of hills, beautiful homes. They do also have a trolley that you can park and ride to the Baseball Hall of Fame and probably all the museums. Yep. Looks like a little downtown with lots of little shops. Turn the theater into a shop. Wax Museum. Heroes of Baseball. Baseball memorabilia in these shops. So what are you thinking of Cooperstown? Um, like you said, it's very touristy. Uh, but I guess you know. Well, it's a must be must see place to go if you're a baseball fan. I'm assuming. I mean, we're not big baseball fans, so it, the attraction isn't as strong for us. But it is, you know, this is the history of baseball, and here we are sitting in Doubleday Field, which is where it all started. Okay. So you know, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we're just relaxing because it's very <laughs> hot and extremely humid. Yeah. It's thinking about raining today. It hasn't quite decided yet. So far it's not, which is good, but... Well, we did get a few sprinkles. We were under a dark cloud, so it must be hit or miss depending on where you are. Right. Right. Exactly. But, yeah, there's a lot of... If you're into baseball memorabilia and such, definitely want to come here because there's a ton of shops. You can probably find something. A lot of museums. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't done the Baseball Hall of Fame. We're going to do that uh, later. Um, they also have a nice little waterfront. Right. That you can walk down to. And, and they have uh, boat tours that you can go on. And, and boat rentals. You boat rentals. Rent you can rent a party boat or a, a party pontoon boat. Pontoon boat. Kayaks. Yep. 
paddle boards, and lots of little restaurants so you can get something to eat. Um, you know, it's a real nice, you know, it's a nice little town, but it is very touristy. Yeah. But, but yeah, I would, I would recommend it. Yeah. And it's nice just to drive around the town and see all the old buildings and houses and such. Too. Right, they have some beautiful houses. Yeah, exactly. And the ride along the lake is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Town deer. Yep. It was a nice place to visit. I thought so. I have to say that's probably one of the nicest Hall of Fames we've been to. I mean, not that we go to a lot of Hall of Fames, but we've been to the NASCAR Hall of Fame and we've been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And I would say this is up there. Um, I like that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a little bit better because I have more of an interest in music than I do in baseball. Right. I really enjoyed the history of baseball that they give you while you walk around and look at that and how they present it oh yeah i mean it, it's you know you we spent gosh we got there about two o'clock and left it after six mm -hmm. so we were there for a half a day four hours and it's nice that it's open nine to nine during the summer so you can get in there and really spend some time i mean you know we look at the displays and you know and kind of read the placards about the history that the display was kind of talking about but but boy if you're into the you know the memorabilia or, or you know the, the bats and the gloves and the his, those items and wanted to see that stuff you could spend a couple of days going through that stuff if you oh really at want. least there's so much to read yeah and um but all those displays were nice yeah they were all all interesting I have yeah. to say that I knew some of the older players. We don't really follow baseball now, so I'm not familiar with any of the um, the newer players. Yeah. Yeah, but like Joe DiMaggio and um, Willie Mays. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. I mean, you know, those are pillars of, the, of baseball, and to go someplace where they're honored in such a nice way. Right. 
some. I mean, when you walk through the the actual Hall of Fame, it's like walking through a church. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's very very impressive. Oh, it is with all the plaque. Yeah, and then you know just to to walk through and see. I mean, you recognize names pretty much every group. You know, there's somebody that was into base. You know, that, that you know was a name in baseball when you were younger at some point. You know, or you know, and for, for us, you know, maybe. You know, we we have that crossover to you know people who had a career in baseball who were no longer playing, but were a well-known name like Joe DiMaggio or something mm-hmm. that, that we would see on TV. You know, in Mr. Coffee commercials. <laughs> or, yeah. Um, but you'd also you know you know remember you know the players who were playing during our you know our time. You know, you know Reggie Jackson and Pete Rose and you know and read all the stories. And then to me the the more interesting stories were, you know, um, the women of baseball exhibit. I thought that that was, was good. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish it was actually bigger. I think it, I think it needs to be a bigger piece of it because um, I think there's a good story there. And you know, Jackie Robinson and you know, and, you know, the integration of baseball and what it was like before. You know, he played professional baseball, and what it's like now, what what it was like then, and what it's like now. Mm-hmm. You know, it, was, it was really good. Yeah. And you know, and there's so much more. I mean, there was there was sections there on international baseball, and it, and you know, took you right up to current day and, and the most recent inductees into baseball, and which happened just last weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, we just missed it. Oh, okay. Luckily for us, because it would have yeah, been, been real crowded. It would have been extremely crowded. Yeah. So. But. Yeah, it was It was a nice place to visit. Yep. And the town is really quaint and nice. Right, it has a, a nice bakery. That was one of the shops, other than the baseball-themed shops. Right. And it looks like there's a lot of nice restaurants. I mean, there was... Um, a restaurant right downtown that had a huge line for lunch. So, I mean, that could have been, you know, a place to stop for a burger or something. The waterfront, we walked down by there in the park. Right, and they have um, a boat ride you can go on. Yeah. And you can also rent kayaks and canoes and paddle boards. Yeah. So that was, um, it was nice down there. A nice area, a nice lake. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a baseball fan and you haven't been there, why? You gotta go. If you're like us and you're not baseball fans, but you're interested in history and, and you know that the story that that town tells, you, it's very interesting to go to. So, I think there's something there for everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So if you like this event, this adventure of ours and you want to see more, you want to know when we post new adventures, what should they do? Subscribe. That's right. And ring the bell so that you get notified uh, when we post new adventures. And give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. And what else? We will see you down the road. In Bye, everybody. Time. Bye, everybody.